What's good, everybody? In today's video, we're going to look at the point slope formula. I'm going to show you the four most common problems you'll see and how to solve them. In part one of this video, what they normally do is they give us the point that it passes through and the slope and it asks us to create the equation. For us to create the equation, we have to use the point slope formula, right? Y minus Y1 is equal to M and in parentheses X minus X1. Now, math family, understand Y1 is the Y coordinate, which they give us. M is the slope. And then X1 is the X coordinate, which they gave us. So all we have to do is plug in and simplify. And this is what I mean. So now we know Y minus Y1. That's six, right? So Y minus six is equal to the slope, negative five, and in parentheses, X minus negative three. Always make sure that you put the negative in parentheses because they're going to try to trick you. The original equation already has subtraction. All right. So this turns into addition. So now we clean this up. Y minus six is equal to negative five X. Oops. Minus 15. Combine our like terms. Y is equal to negative five X minus nine. So this will be the new equation that has a slope of five, negative five, and passes through this point here. But in part two, we're gonna look at a different scenario. Part two of this video now, what they normally like to do is to give us the two points and tell us to create the equation, right? But what we have to understand is that we do not have the slope. So the first thing we need to do is to use that slope formula, y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. And once we do that, we're going to have the following. All right, 4 minus negative 6 all over 2 minus negative 3. Once we simplify this, we're going to get m is equal to 10 over 5. And we'll simplify this one more step to 2. Now that we have that done, we can use the point slope formula to figure out what exactly is the equation. So let's use it with this point. So I have y minus four is equal to two times x minus two. I simplify y minus four is equal to two x minus four. Once I combine four on both sides, my final equation would be y is equal to two x. Now I know what you guys are saying, math family. Peters, what if I use the other point? Does it really matter? It really doesn't. And we're gonna take time right now to prove it. So let's say I use the second point, right? Y minus, remember, put that negative in parentheses, negative six is equal to two times X minus negative three. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, so we know these are positive. We have Y plus six is equal to two X plus six. So once we subtract six on both sides, final answer would be Y is equal to two X. So just remember math family, if we substitute correctly, it does not matter which of the two points we use, we will get the right answer. Now in the next two parts of this video, we're gonna talk about creating the line when, for perpendicular and parallel lines. Let's get started. Part three of this video, they gave us an equation and they tell us the point that it passes through and they want us to write a new equation that is going to be parallel to this line. So we have to understand the relationship of parallel lines and their slope. It is the same exact slope. So all we need to do is to plug, use this slope and use these X and Y coordinates in our point slope formula. So what we're gonna have is Y minus five is equal to two over three parentheses X minus six, right? Once we go out here, two over three times six over one, this is gonna give us 12 over, all right, that's gonna be four. So we know y minus five is equal to two over three x minus four. Add five on both sides. Now we know y is equal to two over three x plus one. This is gonna be the equation of the parallel line that passes through the point six, five. But before we go to perpendicular lines, we're gonna look at one more example. And this example you wanna see because it has a trick in it. So the first thing we need to understand, math family, is this. We need to simplify this first. So once I simplify, this is what we're gonna get. 
y plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 4. We're going to subtract 2 on both sides. y is equal to 4x minus 6. Now that we simplify this equation, now we can create the, the equation for the parallel line passing through the point 1, negative 3. So now let's do it. So what we're going to have is y minus negative 3 is equal to, and then we have 4 times x minus 1. So now once we simplify, we're going to have y plus 3 is equal to 4x minus 4. Once I subtract 3 on both sides, my final answer in the equation of the parallel line is going to be y is equal to 4x minus 7. So if they give you a similar problem where they did not simplify the equation of the line, just make sure you go ahead and simplify it first before using a point slope formula and the point that they give you. Now we're going to go over to the last part of this video where we talk about perpendicular lines and creating equations for them. Moving on to the last part of this video, part four. Really hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, smash the like button for us. They're asking us now to pick the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through 2, 4, and it's going to be perpendicular to this equation, right? So the, the, the number one rule is understanding negative reciprocals, right? So let's say we use 3. 3's negative reciprocal, right? 1, we're going to turn it into a fraction and take its reciprocal. So its reciprocal is 1 over 3, and then remember, negative reciprocal. So if it's positive, it turns to negative. If it's negative, it turns positive. So that's a negative reciprocal for just 3. Now, when we look at our slope, they want the negative reciprocal for 1 over 3. So if we took the reciprocal, it would just be 3. And if we took the negative of it, it would be negative 3. So off rip, B, A are gone. Now, for us to properly solve and create the new equation, we're still going to use the point slope formula. But once we substitute the slope in, right, y minus 4 is equal to, we're going to put the negative reciprocal slope, not the original one. We only put the same slope if it's a parallel line. We're working with perpendicular. So now this turns into negative 3 times x minus 2. Then we could solve and create the, the new equation. So y minus 4 is equal to negative 3x plus 6. When I add 4 on both sides, my final answer would be y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. So my answer choice would be C, right? But before we go, we're going to look at one other example as well. So let's go ahead and do it now. Moving on to this last problem now, gave us the equation, told us the point it passes through, and they want the perpendicular line. So now when we go back in and we saw, right, y minus 8 is equal to, and remember, we're taking a negative reciprocal. So this 2 turns into negative 1 half, close the parentheses, x minus 1. Now I'm going to simplify y minus 8 is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1 half, right? Then at the last step, we're going to have y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1 half plus 8. So just remember now, guys, we're combining fractions. We need a common denominator. So with 8, we could put 16 over 2 because that's the same thing. And if we add 1 half to that, that's just going to give us 17 over 2. So when I go back and I simplify, my final answer in the equation would be y is equal to negative one half x plus 17 over two. So when it comes to the point slope formula, these are the four most common problems that you are going to see. Really hope this video is helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching. I was going with Mr. Peters. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel. Or if you had questions from today's video, thank you guys for watching.